nine, four, seven, nine, four. Monster from the Monster Army. Love how you guys been helping us out. You want to trade? Actually, hang on. You've been so good to us monsters, I'm gonna give you a Prezi first. Just for stopping by. Here. I know, huh? Thanks for recognizing. Uh, we usually just drink and watch old VHS monster movies and shoot the shit. <laughs> It's the best. Let me open up the store.
Ooh, we should get something hot to drink for the trip home. We'll come back on our way out. What's the perfect food? Noodles, how many do we have? Oodles, who should have some now? Oodles, Masada makes the best noodles. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails you. Ah, you again. What is it? Yeah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and I'll taste it. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit, promise. Yeah. What do you get your Too protective expensive. gear here? Doctor Cold Cuts can what else, yeah. The monster army has been around for a while. I welcome you to my house. Make yourself comfortable. My hospitality is law here. Landy, the mechanic, yes, he is a genius. So young, but already the cars of the world, they bow to him like he is a king. But tell me, why do you ask about our young savant? My friends, it is good that you understand respect. Such courtesy is so lacking these days. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know where that unappreciative boy has gone. May he serve you well. A decadent oasis steeped in culinary wonders. The bizarre is Colorado's gastronomic holy land. It is a carnival of wonders. It is paradise. But it was even more splendid once, a long time ago. Primal, a wild place. I was there when the monster army first arrived in the bazaar. We tore the farmers limb from limb, fed them to their pigs. A graceless epoch, but so visceral, so alive. But its savagery had no place under the patriarch's rule. He is a harsh man, but his edge is directed, guided, not like the chaos of old. Be sure to visit Quarex's museum. It is fascinating to see all these relics from the before times, to imagine the riches the ancient Americans enjoyed beyond even the means of the bazaar. One story. You wound me. How do you expect me to choose when there are so many to tell? It would be like asking a mother to pick one child to save from the fire. Oh, that one is easy. It was late and so cold that the air cut our lungs to ribbons. We'd heard rumors of a sanctuary, an unguarded place fat with meat and helpless farmers, no military force to speak of. So we came in the night, an army of monsters. We cut their throats in their sleep. One hour, a hundred dead. You should have seen the blood. The night ran red. There was enough to fill a lake. It was beautiful. Savagery refined to an unctuous art. My favorite story. Oh, I suppose I cannot blame you for being curious. Let's see. Yes, yes, I suppose I know the one. A wolf man once challenged me for the rule of the bazaar. He decided that I was weak, too soft for the role. So he challenged me to a duel, and I agreed. But that night he died, shitting blood in his bed. He told me he screamed himself wrong. Poor little book. He should have been more careful with his food. Uh, 
Sir, you have to forgive me. This story is not mine, but Adelon's. A beautiful madam of chicks flicks. She just arrived in the bazaar, hungry for a place in our kingdom. The space where her theater stands, it belonged to someone else. Adelon, wise in the nature of the world, offered the owner something he could not refuse. The orgy lasted for days. Men, women, animals, anything with a hole or an appendage that could either be sucked or slotted into a dripping orifice. The stains took weeks to clean, but Eidolon fucked her way to her heart's desire. Ah, a legend, that woman. With pleasure. The bazaar will be waiting. The monster army has been around for a while. Flav's always going on about the olden days. To get a jolt from my electro. I got this. I got this. Doc, get your objectives are here. here. Where'd you get that? But they're too Thank small. you for your help. I'm tired of shopping. Let's go to the arcade. What are you, you doing? charge? Arcades are for children. I hear they call him Flab the Inhaler. Sanctified. <laughs> Can you believe blood? that? Blood sanctified by guns. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming.
shit! We survived!
Where the hell do you think you're going? This area is off limits to anyone not part of our organization, and you definitely don't look like anyone I know. I strongly suggest you egress to a rosier neighborhood. You copy? Fine. The name's Stenerud. In case the Patriarch hasn't noticed, there's hundreds of refugees who are desperate to get into his city. So desperate they'll pay me everything they have. Now, I've got no particular quarrel with you. But I'm not stopping, and I'm not negotiating. So if you come any closer, this is a firefight. Stenner right out.
were you? Did Mama Cotter send you? We're not smugglers. We're their cargo. Those bastards promised they'd get us to Colorado Springs, but they took everything we had as payment. Mama Cotter set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into the city. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. We're refugees, every one of us, driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need transport to Colorado Springs or we're dead. We need to find someone who can carry all of us to the city, and soon. We're not going to last out here. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. You're the only hope we have. If we're stuck here much longer, I doubt we'll survive. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. We won't survive out here for much longer. Please find someone to help us soon. Copy, November 1. Toes on the way. If you don't bring those refugees from the bazaar here, they're probably not going to survive. You did right by me. I hope you'll do the same for them. Putting them refugees in the brig feels a bit unkind, but it's better than being out in the cold. Happy to. Take a look. What do you need, Rangers? That's what you pay me for. Have a seat. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. 